Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 206. What is Hyper IgE Syndrome or Job Syndrome? Hyper IgE Syndrome or Job Syndrome is when T helper 1 cells fail to produce interferon gamma, and this failure in production of interferon gamma leads to inability of neutrophils to respond to chemotactic stimuli. Describe the presentation of Hyper IgE Syndrome. The presentation observed with a person with Hyper IgE Syndrome or Job Syndrome includes coarse facies, cold or non-inflamed staphylococcal abscesses, retained primary or baby teeth, increase in IgE and dermatologic problems such as eczema. What is the mnemonic to help you remember Job Syndrome or Hyper IgE Syndrome? The mnemonic, just remember the word FATED, and that's F-A-T-E-D, so F, which stands for coarse facies, A is for abscesses, T is for baby teeth, E is for increase in immunoglobulin E, and D is for dermatologic problems. Another way to also help you remember this problem is just remember that it's called Job Syndrome after the biblical character Job, whose faithfulness in God was tested after he was given skin sores and pustules. What is chronic mucocutaneous candidiasis? Chronic mucocutaneous candidiasis is an immune disorder of the T-cell. And as we mentioned earlier in this chapter, that with T-cell dysfunction, you are more likely to get viral and fungal infections. So therefore, with this condition, there is recurrent candida albicans infections of the skin and mucous membrane. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.